the sign-off day. I still don't really believe it. it hasn't fully sunk in for me. I have to meet at 9 o'clock in Studio B for sign-off. And then we will be on our way. It's going to be a long travel day because even though I have a direct flight, my flight's not till almost 4 o'clock. Quite a trek to make it to Terminal C from B because they, the driver was something else. He really, he wasn't the best. Um, he ran into a pole when he was trying to pull in, but he actually pulled in the wrong spot. So then he backed up as cars were passing by, but we made it off the bus safely. Yeah, we had to lug all of our luggage to Terminal C, which was like a 20 minute process. I just dropped off my bags and they both well, one was 51 pounds, but the other one was 49 pounds. So they were both technically under 50, so I didn't have to pay a penny for my luggage, which was like, I had so much anxiety from last contract sign off. That was a struggle. And now we're gonna eat some lunch because it's 12.30. We're gonna eat. I've ordered a acai bowl, and then I'm gonna make it to my gate. I'm home right now crazy it's so weird I took an uber home because my parents are actually flying in from Chicago so they should be home in like probably two hours but I think I'm gonna use this time wisely and I'm gonna dive right into my suitcases and unpack everything that is my least favorite part about traveling is taking out everything and putting it away but it needs to happen and I don't want to put it off for tomorrow friends, my great and good friends. <laughs> thank you for joining me at my home. My lovely wife, Suzanne. And thank, thank you again for all the nice comments. <laughs> to tell you how good it felt to wake up in my own bed this morning I woke up at like 6 45 I left my curtains completely open so that I could wake up to the sunrise and my oh my did it feel amazing the first time you wake up after being on a contract is always the weirdest thing like I was a bit disoriented when I woke up for a few seconds but nonetheless I had an amazing morning so far I've just gone on a walk with my mom and Coco, and it's gonna be a nice chill day at home. I do wanna take a moment to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Perfume is an essential part of my morning routine. I never ever leave the house without wearing some kind of perfume. If you ask me, it just completes a whole look, and there is no better feeling than being complimented on your perfume or that you smell good. So with Scentbird, you can try out a different designer fragrance every single month for just $17. 
It is completely customizable, so you can pick exactly which scent you want to try. And as much as I personally love surprises, sometimes you just don't want to be surprised when it comes to a fragrance because everyone has different tastes. Scentbird does have perfumes as well as cologne, so there are so many different unisex options. Perfume can be a big commitment, so once again, this is the perfect way to try out a new fragrance before committing to buying an entire bottle, and you do get a 30-day supply within each case. I think tonight my parents and I are going to head out to dinner, so I'm definitely going to be wearing one of these when I go out. The three fragrances I have received this month are Floral Street Sunflower Pop, I also got Deco of Scarlet Not Your Girl and then lastly I got also Furla Romantica. So they come in these really cute little drawstring bags and the cases are so fun. The case is super sleek and really easy to use. There is a lock option so you can just slide it to the left and press down to activate the fragrance. This is a perfect size to just throw in a tote bag or a purse if you're on the go, because as you guys know, I am always running from place to place, so this is gonna be so handy. Not Your Girl smells so good, it's so rich, yet there is like a hint of floral to it, so it is delicious. <laughs> Sunflower Pop is gonna be perfect for summer. I can definitely smell the fruitiness and like the citrus in it. Romantica is so good. I think this is going to be my favorite one. It's right up my alley. I can smell the vanilla and I love that like warmer kind of fragrance. Personally, I think it's important to have your own like personal scent, if you will. So this is the perfect way to try out different fragrances and find your signature smell. So make sure to use my code BOUTH for 55% off at Scentbird. So that is just a little over $7 for your first month and it is also available in the US and in Canada. Anyways, it is nearing lunchtime. I am starting to get hungry but I don't know how much food we have in the house because tomorrow I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's with my mom. Very excited. But for today I'm just gonna have to find something in the fridge. I was thinking about also doing a Pilates video or doing like a weights workout but I think I'm gonna opt for a swim in the pool instead. That'll be my workout for the day because it just looks too good to not jump into. And I also downloaded a few new books, so I will probably dive into a new book and just hang by the pool. I do also have a lot of packages to open. I don't know if we're gonna do that now or probably later because I really wanna get outside in the sunshine. For my little pool day by myself, I've got just my Burlook swimsuit that I'm going to throw on because I want something that's not going to slide down every time I try to swim. So these ones have nice straps. I love this suit so much. It's like sparkly. And then I've got the matching like high cut bottoms to go with. And then to throw on over top, I've just got this little black sundress. Easy. It's from, I want to say Free People. Let's... Do a little quick change. Okay, super cute, super easy, and I'm not going anywhere, so works perfect. We got the birds chirping, there's a light breeze happening, and I am all set up for my very delightful pool day. I've just downloaded a couple new books. I just finished the Golden Couple not too long ago, like two days ago, maybe three days ago. So I think I might start Meet Me at the Lake or maybe Happy Place. I cannot decide between the two. I'm leaning more towards the Happy Place because I've been seeing so many people post about it recently. So I think let's, we should go for it. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. I have been reading my book. I did crack open a Coke Zero because we had one in the fridge and I just thought that'd be a nice treat for the afternoon. It's really crazy how different the heat is here versus in the Caribbean. Like, because I've been in the Caribbean for months, I'm really well adjusted to the heat and I personally love the sun. I actually think I prefer this temperature in comparison to the Caribbean because it just gets so so hot, so sticky, and so humid. Like, we still have a bit of humidity here, but the temperature is not quite as hot. But again, I am way more north than what I have been for the last four months, so obviously when we're further away from the equator, it's not gonna be quite as hot. 
So I think I want to take a dip in the pool now. I want to swim some laps, get a little bit of exercise in, and I, I love a pool moment. So I'm going to make full use of it, and I'm having a great day. I think the heat was turned off because it's really cold. <laughs> Honestly, I'm having the perfect first day home and I could not be more pleased. I have so many packages though and I wanna open them up so I thought we could do that together because that might be fun. I haven't even bothered to change out of my swimsuit yet. I'll do that after, I'm just too excited. So clearly we have a lot to go through. So I guess I'll just start top to bottom and I really hope this doesn't come off in a bragging way. Like I am so grateful to be in the position that I am and I honestly can't believe this <laughs> sometimes. I just want to share this with you because I love opening packages. I think it's so fun, feels like Christmas and I just wanted to share the fun with you. First things first, I have a package from Drift. There is a metal clip for like the visor and then one of the air fresheners. This is the Mountain Greens Sugared Citrus scent. Next up from No Beauty, I got the Glacial Bay Clay Mask, which is so cool. This is Vanessa Hudgens brand. I'm so excited to try this out. I love all kinds of skincare, so this is going to be fun to try out. And there's bubble wrap, so I can pop that later. Next package. <gasps> I remember what this is. Okay, I don't know why there's not a top to this box, but I ordered a pair of New Balance shoes. I actually saw these shoes in DSW when I was, when I was home before the contract, but they didn't have my size. And then I found them online, so I had to order them. So these are my new babies. I'm so excited. They are suede and like all pastel colors. I think they're so freaking cute. These are the 237 slip-on sneakers. Um, so you don't even lace them up. Well, they seem to fit. I'm bringing these to Europe with me for sure. This next package came from the ship. So I think it was like redirected to my house, but I actually have no idea what it is. So I've got some bum and body cream from Miami Beach Bum. It's so weird. I don't know why it was redirected to the house because it was shipped to Wonder, but I don't know, somehow it ended up here. Cool. Next up, this is very exciting. I have been wanting to, so I've been really wanting to upgrade my software and my equipment for videoing, especially because next contract I'm gonna be in Europe, I really wanna have like high quality, crisp footage. So Movo actually sent me some mics, one for my phone and then also one for my camera. So we are going to test this out. I am so excited about this because I don't have like an external mic for my camera. Okay, Rejuvalift sent me their advanced tightening and lifting serum. It's supposed to help reduce my under eye bags, which I definitely have. So this will be fun to try. I hope it works. Okay, Neom sent me their organic perfect nights sleep mist for my body and for my pillow. I've never tried a sleep mist, so this will be fun to try out tonight. I want to smell it though. Ooh, it's cute. Mmm, smells like a spa. This is from Teespring. I ordered a sample of one of my merch. I can't say I'm pleased with the outcome. This is why I always order samples before I release some kind of merch because you want to make sure everything looks good. This one is my Say Yes to Life logo. I wanted to try it on a black hoodie and see how it worked. I didn't think about the fact that the writing is already in black print, so you can't really see it. And there's a little smudge on the globe, so I might have to talk to them about that. But anyways, I'll still wear it. <sighs> Are you kidding? Lancome. I don't know what I did to ever deserve to be on the Lancome PR list. This is now like the second or third product they've sent me and I, I'm i in disbelief. I have no words. This is so freaking cool. And they sent me two shades, so I really hope these fit my, my skin tone. My skin tone varies so much when I tan. Like, if I sit out in the sun too long, I change foundation shades, but that hasn't stopped me before. I can always just add bronzer to it, but this is very exciting. Thank you so much, Lincoln. Y'all know I love a small business. Um, 
I worked for a family owned boutique for years in college and after college. I actually started there when I was an intern. So I started with an internship and then became an employee. So I love finding small businesses online and they have custom phone cases. So the first one that I picked out is this disco ball one and it says my name on it. So cute. And then the other one is like this gothic font and it says what year I was born. And then the hoodies are some of the cutest graphic hoodies I think I've ever seen. This is the first one. It says main character energy. I thought it was adorable. I ordered these in a medium in hopes that they are more of like an oversized fit. Or maybe I even got a large. I can't remember. But I'm hoping that they fit me way oversized because I just I love when they're very baggy. And then this is the other one. It's just like this fun little graphic. And then it's the same thing on the back as well. Are you kidding? <gasps> this is so cute. Now this is what I call customization. They printed me like my own little card. We've got one more package to open up. This one is from First Form. It's my monthly order. And I do have another box downstairs, but I already know that's a restock of my energy drinks. So I didn't bother bringing that up. You know I had to do it. I had to get a restock of my protein bars. So I got the level one bar. I got my favorite chocolate peanut butter pretzel flavor, but I did also branch out a little bit. And I also got a box of the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. And then I became obsessed with the cinnamon cookie batter flavor protein powder on the ship. And I couldn't, I mean, I had a little bit left, but I didn't bring it home with me, so I gave it to the cast. So I have a restock here. And then I do also have a restock of my favorite greens. You guys know I drink these every single morning. I'll have everything linked. I did get some apparel, so I picked out this really nice, like, athletic long sleeve. Y'all know I love a neutral moment. Now that I've completely destroyed my room, it's time to put this all away. I do want to try the hoodies on. Maybe I'll try the hoodies. I just took a shower and quickly got ready for dinner, but I wanted to try on the hoodies before we head there. Here is the first one. It's so comfortable. It's so soft. And I actually love how it fits. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> so here's the front. I need to start ordering my hoodies in like medium and larges just because I prefer them to be oversized. Like if I'm not drowning in the hoodie, I don't want it. Unless it's a cropped hoodie. Like, if it's a cropped hoodie, then it can be super cropped. But if it's a normal size hoodie, I want that thing to reach my knees. Okay, and then here is the other one. My biggest issue with white is that I always get it dirty, or I spill, or I get food on it. So that's going to be my biggest challenge, but I'm obsessed with this, and I'm always trying to channel main character energy. So, cute! I need to quickly change into my outfit. I already have it laid out. I just have to throw it on. And I didn't even bother doing my hair. I just into like a low pony and I'm gonna throw some little hoops on and then we should be good. Got my little outfit on. I've just thrown on the ColourPop So Glossy lip gloss in local and I'm gonna just throw these earrings on and we should be all set. I think we're gonna go to Neat. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Buffalo. Um, I was kind of debating maybe trying something new or something downtown but I feel like Neat is just a good option and we're all hungry so it's just a safe bet. This is White Fox and these are Princess Polly and then I've got my new heels on and I went to go grab my name badge but I actually don't need it. And I can't forget perfume so I'm gonna use my new perfume. Now we're ready. <laughs> Good luck, thank you very much. Nice. Oh, hello! Were you sleeping?
happy Tuesday. We are en route for a little bit of shopping. We don't have many groceries in the house, so I want to make a trip to Trader Joe's because I haven't been able to shop at Trader Joe's in months. We're gonna go there. We're also gonna stop at TJ Maxx, check it out because there's a new location. And then I'm gonna visit my grandma for a little bit. So that's the plan. I'm really excited. I don't know yet what I'm gonna get from Trader Joe's, but we're gonna pick up a few good things. And also I was influenced by Tara Michelle to try the soup dumplings. So we're gonna see if they have those in stock because Apparently they're always out of stock. Something you can try. They're these little cookies. They're key lime cookies that Kevin oh, yeah? and they're so From good. From Trader Joe's? Yeah, they're just like a little biscuit this big and they're key lime huh. pie. Key lime pie taste cookies. Sounds good. So we'll maybe <laughs> we'll get some them. some key lime cookies. They were fantastic. Here we go. <gasps> Here we go. I'm so excited. It's been so long. They're literally playing the pre-show music to wonder. I like this color. This is a nice color. Yeah. But I do really like the yellow. I do too. It's nice and bright and yeah. easy to find. Look at this bag. Oh. Like New Year's or something? That's gorgeous. I'm such a bad girl. It is, it's a problem. I have way too many and I just, I want to keep buying more. That's nice. This is like a really nice size. I realized that I'm out of shampoo and conditioner, so I do need to get a restock, but they have a whole section here full of like a ton of different brands, so I might as well pick something up. I'm not really super loyal to one shampoo brand, but as long as it doesn't have parabens or sulfates in the shampoo, then it's good with me. I think I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal. I've had this before, so it works fine. Great. Okay, I do really want to find some like clear containers to store and like organize my makeup in the drawers because I usually always leave it in the like in my makeup bag, but I want to have it all like laid out for me. So that is what we are on the hunt for now. This, this is what I'm looking for something like this, but maybe without the divide in the middle. These are too deep. Maybe they have like more shallow ones. This one should work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited I got that luggage! It's awesome. It was a successful trip, I would say. I am nice disappointed with the set not fitting. The set was so cute, but the pants were just too big. Right. And now it's time for TJ's. Trader Joe's! Woo! Here we are. Oh, I want to buy some flowers. They have the soup dumplings. Look at that. I might get two boxes. Okay, let's see if they're any good. Success! And I got some flowers for my Grammy. Today was a very successful shopping day. And I want to give you a haul. Oh my god, I am just a disaster today. So I spent $86 at TJ Maxx, which was... wait. $85. So I spent $85 at TJ Maxx and $86 at Trader Joe's. But I'm so excited about my Trader Joe's tote bag that I bought. So I have been seeing these everywhere online and I wanted one so badly. And as I was in the checkout line, I saw that they were hanging and they were $3.99. So I thought that was a bargain. So I did buy one of those. And also we love a reusable tote because I'm a huge tote bag gal and it's perfect for using when you go back to the source. Anyways, let's start with TJ Maxx. They gave me a really excessively large bag. I didn't get that much stuff. First things first, I got a new water bottle because I lost my other one, but I was gonna get rid of it anyways because it was leaking. So I got the same brand actually. They had Simple Modern at TJ Maxx and I got this pink, you know, my favorite color, and it was on clearance for $16. So picked this up. I really wanted a new little cosmetic bag for like toiletries and things like that when traveling. So I just picked up this one. I thought it was super cute. It reminds me of Italy. I got my shampoo and conditioner restock. They had the Goalie Nutrition gummies. So I got the immune, triple action immune gummies. I love a gummy. I know people are, they have their own ideas about it, but just let me eat my gummy in peace, okay? 
And then I got a little storage container. They only had one of these. I would have liked to buy like three of them for the drawers for my bathroom, but maybe I can find some at Target or if I go to a different TJ Maxx, maybe I'll have them, but I thought this would be good for organizing my makeup. I did get two little clothing items. Do I need them? No, but they were adorable. So first up is this adorable little top. It's from Zara. This just screams European summer to me. I don't know. And that was only like $6, so I, I had to do it. And then the other top I got is just a bodysuit. You know I love a bodysuit. This one is so flattering on and so comfortable. My mom actually found it and I really liked it on, so I got that as well. And then last thing from TJ Maxx is just a set of claw clips. These ones are like a small to medium size and these were on clearance for $4.50. So that's it for TJ Maxx. Moving on to the real reason we went over there today. Trader Joe's. I got Kung Pao Tempura Cauliflower. I've got a restock of the Cauliflower Gnocchi. I got Falafel. As per Tara Michelle's recommendation, I'm trying the steamed chicken soup dumplings. Some roasted garlic hummus. I got three flavors of the Greek yogurt, the brown sugar oat milk creamer. I got a golden pineapple synergy kombucha. This little baggie of mini baby bells. I got another recommendation to try the Elote corn chip dippers. So we're trying these. My mom wanted me to get this cinnamon coffee cake for my dad. Two boxes of the everything but the bagel crackers, a bag of avocados, cookie butter, can of black beans, everything bagel seasoning, everything but the elote seasoning, one case of the strawberry sparkling juice, key lime tea cookies. My mom wanted me to try these and they actually had like a taste station. And lastly, another recommendation I got on Instagram with the ABC bars. So that's everything. Oh, I did forget one thing. Very, very last thing is the sea salt and dark chocolate almonds. I already, I already had one. They're good. That's my haul. I'm gonna sort this all and put everything away where it needs to go. And then I'm meeting my aunt in about an hour for coffee at Starbucks. Here is the current situation. It is a disaster. I do need to go through some of the products anyways and get rid of some things, but it's just, a little chaotic and actually I do have a tray in here which is nice so I can use this and the other one but I want to go through all of this clean it out update it's a lot better than what it used to be obviously it's not exactly perfect because I don't have all the same products and brands but it's it's looking pretty good for me I'm pretty happy with it I definitely want to do a deep dive clean of my bathroom like my closet and underneath the sink but that'll be another day because I need to run out the door to meet my auntie <music> but I made my favorite, just classic Mexican bowl. I'm so excited to dig in. first two days home. I'm so happy to be home even though it was obviously bittersweet and difficult to say goodbye to the cast. I'm just really happy to have this time at home before next contract and also before my trip to Europe. 
I'm so excited to do some summery activities around Buffalo and also see all of my friends and the rest of my family. So stay tuned for a bunch of fun vlogs coming soon. I do have some fun plans tomorrow, so I want to get into bed and get a good night of sleep before a busy day. But thank you once again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check the links in my description box. Everything will be there. And you can use my code BOUTH for 55% off your first month. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much again for watching. And I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.